I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to this special video brought to you on this special day. It is Friday, my dear friend, and we thank God that is Friday. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you with another word that will bless you and take you closer to God. It is so important that we position ourselves correctly and that we take the time out to understand the will and the way of our God and we walk in it because this will bring the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. My dear friend, I want to start today by saying there is a blessing that can come. It can make you have many things that you desire but it comes with a lot of problems. It comes with a lot of issues. And there is also a blessing that can make you have many of the things that you desire, but it comes with a clean conscience and it comes from God. Now, without any further delay, let's begin. The Bible says in the Gospel of John chapter 8, verse 32, it says, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Now, this refers to the gospel truth. It refers to the truth that is enlightened in the Word of God, but there is also another revelation that we can get from that. And that is that walking in truth will set you free. It is so important that we as born-again believers live an honest life. It is so important that we as born-again believers live a life that gives God glory. Yes, we may have hobbies, we may have passions, we may have desires, we may have certain things that we do, but as we do them, whatever we do, we should do them in a way that gives God glory. We should do them in an honest and a proper way with integrity. Now, in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 21, it says, For we aim for what is honorable, not only in the Lord's sight, but also in the sight of men. Now, this scripture is very important because it shows us and teaches us something. It is possible for a born-again believer to look honorable in the Lord's eyes, but in the eyes of men, he does not look honorable. It is possible for a born-again believer to look good in the sight of God, but when men look, they are writing you off. This is why many times people wonder and they see God's choice and they say, how can God choose this person? It's because they haven't seen the true picture of who that person is, but God does. Now, the Bible does show us that we should aim for what is honorable, not only in the Lord's sight, but also in the sight of men. The Bible says a good name is more precious than silver. It is so important that we maintain our integrity, not only in secret, but also in public, because we are setting an example. Whatever we do contributes to that. Whatever decision we make contributes to that example that we set as born again believers. I want to tell you something. You are a leader. You are not just an ordinary person. You are an ambassador of heaven. You are a leader and an ambassador in that place that God has placed you. The Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15, it says, Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. My dear friend, I'll read that to you one more time. It says, Do your best to present yourselves to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the the word of truth. We should try. This means it takes something from us. We should apply ourselves and put in the effort to do our best to present ourselves to God as one who is approved, as an individual who is approved, as a son who is approved, as a daughter who is approved. It is so important. A worker who has no need to be ashamed. Now for this to stand and for this to be in your life, it will take decisions from you. It will take a decision to live an honest life and a life of integrity. And it will take you being patient and waiting for the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. The Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 9, it says, Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self and his practices. So dishonesty, lying, stealing, cheating, this is the practices of the old self the self prior to Christ. But now that you have given your life to Jesus, it is so important that you are the difference. It is so important that you put off the old self. You see, as I've said in the beginning, 
I'll say it again, and I'll give you an illustration that will help you. There is an invisible line which you must never cross. This line divides things that are fixable and things that are not. Don't cross the line between what is fixable and what is unfixable. Maintain your integrity and live honestly. We want the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. There are many blessings that can come and some come with issues because they are not acquired correctly and they don't come from God. But there is a blessing that comes with no hassle and no stress because it comes from God and it was acquired correctly. Seek to live a life that gives God glory. Seek to walk in honesty and integrity and God himself will bless you. In saying that, my dear friend, this special Friday, let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin by praising God. And as we discern the presence of God, then we'll begin to pray and God will bless you. So in saying that, let us begin to praise him. Father, you are our God and we just praise you. We glorify your holy name. We magnify your holy name and we lift you up. You alone are holy. You alone deserve the glory. Be glorified in my life and in my dear friend's life who's watching this video. Do what only you can do and take my dear friend up to a greater glory, a greater altitude. And bless my dear friend, bless, touch, change, heal, deliver, and set free my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend may be, do what only you can do. We give you praise God, that you are a good and a gracious father. You are a merciful father. You are a gracious father. We give you praise and thank you that the work that you begun in my dear friend's life, you'll be faithful to complete it. And as my dear friend follows your word and lives an honest life, a life of integrity, you will bless my dear friend with the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. We give you praise and thank you for this in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know like I know as we pray on this special day, God shall take you to a greater glory. So in saying that, we're going to begin to pray. As we begin to pray, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important is just say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God. I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and touch me. Help me to pray. Help me to press in and do what only you can do in my life. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit. It's going to come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Release the grace of my dear friend and the conviction to live an honest life, to live a life that gives you glory. Do what only you can do in my dear friend's life and take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater platform and a greater altitude. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. Even as my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter, wherever they're watching and whatever age they are, as they are watching, they are still your son and daughter. Father, I pray that you will give them the grace to live honestly and in integrity. And let my dear friend who's watching this video experience the blessing that maketh rich and adds no sorrow. The blessing that comes with no disappointments. The blessing that comes with no weights. The blessing that comes with no issues. The blessing that comes with no problems. The blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend, and God keep you. God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until tomorrow, from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.